Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, how would you know when's the best time to close your business? Coming up. So this question is very tricky. It's actually coming from Mark Campbell, as you can see now on your screen. And well, in every kind of business, it also depends on your risk tolerance level because it depends on every person. So each person has their own level of risk now when it comes to a business for me I don't have like a personal time or like a specific time that you should have in order for you to close your business right in our case for example a lot of you guys don't know this but for the first eight months that we have been doing the present we haven't been earning any amount of money like zero but we have been incurring a lot of expenses just like the MacBooks that we the MacBook that we bought for the editing of videos the phone that we are using for shooting, the internet that we have to pay for in order for us to respond to comments, and the venue that we are going to rent out just for us to shoot videos just like this one. So all these things are expenses, but there's no income that's coming in. So if you're going to look at it in a business perspective, that's not a good sign because you don't have an income coming in, but you have money coming out. I mean, in any kind of business, that's not a good sign. It's, it's a bad thing. So it depends, right? For us, we were able to tolerate it is because we have enough money coming in from other sources that we can use for the business, for building the brand, which is the present. So these things um, is our experience, but it doesn't have to be yours. Maybe you have a different thing. I also talked to a guy. He was an owner of an internet shop that's famous here in Davao City. And what happened was... For the first few business, the f for the first few years, his internet shop earned uh, the ROI, the return on investment happened in one year, and the remaining two years is income. So it's like from three years, one year is ROI, and the two years is all revenue coming in. It's like um, capital gains, technically, right? After that, he's going to sell the, the computer so that he could buy new ones for upgrades of course because if you have an internet shop you need to have an upgrade so what happens is after that they buy new computers one year return two years profit so that's the ratio however as time passes by and with all the competitions that's arising here in Davos city what happened was it became like opposite instead of return instead of getting the investment back in one year he's getting the investment back in two years and the fur and the last year which is the third year is the profit so it's like the opposite so that's not a good thing so then he decided to change his business model which is to shut it down <laughs> so do you get this i mean it really depends at the end of the day it depends on the businessman it's up to you sometimes what people are doing right now is they're going to create an app even if they're incurring a lot of costs but after two years, they know that's going to go up. It's going to have like a brand name and then they're going to sell the brand with a huge amount of money. That's what others are doing. So you have to know your end game. You have to know your end goal in order for you to understand, okay, this, is this something that I'm going to do or is this something that I'm going to pursue even if it's not really making me money? So that's my experience in terms of doing that. I don't really have a specific time, right? Okay. I mean, try to imagine if we stopped the business in six months and we didn't produce any more content after that, then you wouldn't have seen this video. So you wouldn't know. Just try your best to do everything that you can and just focus on it and find ways to make it happen. But if you feel like, and this is one of the most important thing, if you're not happy with whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to impact your business. So if you're happy with whatever you're doing, even if it, it's not making you a lot of money but it's making you just enough money for you to survive then you don't see you see the value of keep of doing it you get this so yeah so mark that's the answer to your question if you have any thoughts that could help mark out with his question let us know in the comment section and if this video helped you out in any way don't forget to subscribe and hit the no notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified.